All right, welcome back. We continue live right here at Pittsburgh CW. Bob and Chris, we're joined by Len in Ligonier. Hello, Len. Yes, sir. How are you? What's up? Uh, just a quick comment. You know, everybody keeps saying that the Pirates are rebuilding. We've been doing that for, what, I don't know how many years. A long um, time. Yeah, long, long time. You know, call it five. They had. I can't take three winning seasons away from them where they were very good. So call it five yeah, years of rebuilding. It is, but I go back to nineteen, you know, all the way seventy nine to the last series they won in a playoff. I mean, that's an awful long time. And along the way, there have been plenty of these moments. But anyway, go ahead, Len. What is your question? Well, it's not really a question. It's just a comment. I mean, really, the Pirates. Let's call it what it is. They're a farm team. You know, they they bring guys in, they ship them out, and that's all they do. Well, I mean, well, that's what the system dictates you're going to have to do if you're the Pirates. Unless, unless you pay, unless you decide to spend. How many teams are doing that in a market their size? San Diego? Name a, I mean, can yeah, you name I mean, another one that's, that's going big no, all Cleveland the time now? Did, Cleveland did for a while. Um, you know, my point is you can still, even in a rebuild process, you can still give the fans something to think about if you believe that there are a couple of guys out there in free agency when markets tend to, uh, the salaries are coming down a little bit to some guys. Why not? Make a you know just until guys get an opportunity to play. I don't know. I, I just it's too easy just to say well, let's have a thirty million dollar payroll and go from here and wait for guys to develop. So I'm I agree. I mean, I think I next year's e if I we all are. I am. Of course, I am. I mean, I would love to see next year maybe if so, if they have some clarity on what their roster looks like and what kind of potential they're dealing with. Sign a couple guys to one-year deals just so you can trade them at the deadline and continue to build this thing up. Uh, I, I'm with you, man. We're all frustrated. But at some point, like, you, you at least have to take things at face value and try to analyze them because just being frustrated about the status quo is going to get you nowhere. Yeah, and this, you're not but gonna this enjoy is where it. the commissioner needs to step in or somebody has to look at the system and not say it's all just roses at this point. Anyway, we're out of time. When I hear that music, Chris, that means we're done. Thank you for joining me. Appreciate it. We'll do it again tomorrow night. Filipponi will be here. We hope you are too right here on the Sports Call. Pittsburgh CW. Thanks for joining us.